Hello, I'm Dr. Ian McGaw, an Associate Professor in the Department of Ocean Sciences. My research focuses on the physiology and behaviour of crustaceans. I'm originally from the UK and teaching courses at Harlow gives me the opportunity to return home each year. I've co-taught the first Harlow course since 2012. It offers a unique learning experience for both students and instructors alike. Hello, my name is Dr. Sally Goddard and I'm a biologist teaching in the biology department at Memorial University. I grew up in London, England, and came to Newfoundland in 1987. The combination of an awe-inspiring landscape, great traditional music, and the chance to work at Memorial have kept me here ever since. Teaching at Harlow gives me the exciting opportunity to introduce students to some incredible sites of biological significance in my old hometown. Hi, my name is Dr. Yolanda Wiersma, and I'm an associate professor in the biology department. My research area is in landscape ecology. My projects focus on boreal systems and wildlife, and I use GIS as one of my key tools. I have co-taught the second Harlow course and enjoy the chance to travel to England. It's Ian here again. In May, the biology department offers two back-to-back -back courses at Memorial's Harlow campus in England, vertebrate diversity and applied biology. Both courses consist of a series of field trips which will be either guided or self-guided. You will keep a notebook which you will then use to write an ongoing comprehensive blog. We will evaluate you based on the field notebooks, the online blog and a research paper which will be due in four to six weeks after the end of the field course. Including travel, course fees and room and board, you should budget approximately $3,500 to cover both courses. So let's look at some lovely photos of the venues we will visit. This is an aerial shot of Memorial's Harlow campus. While at Harley we'll stay in door rooms on campus, usually two people share a room. There's a common room with a TV and games, a computer room and kitchenettes. You will get a three course meal each evening and they can cater for dietary needs. The campus is close to pubs, shops and restaurants and the Tesco supermarket is within a 10 minute walk. Students often like to relax at the local pub, The Crown, in the evening. On the first weekend, we take the students on the Burton Tour of London, named after Margaret and Derek Burton, who started the course at Harlow. Just look at our campers, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, ready for a fun-packed day. On the Burton Tour, we will visit a number of famous London landmarks and help familiarise you with the use of the London Underground. Hello, it's Sally here again to tell you something about Biology 4910 vertebrate diversity and adaptations. In this course, you get a hands-on opportunity to learn about the amazing diversity of vertebrates and the range of adaptations that have made them such a successful group of animals. You'll do this by visiting world-class sites, showcasing living vertebrates, such as London and Whipsnade zoos, and also museums, containing an awe-inspiring collections of animal specimens for you to examine. For example, the Natural History Museum in London contains over 80 million specimens, forming the world's most important natural history collection. Some of these are treasures worth huge sums of money, but don't worry, you won't have to study all of them. You will learn about conservation and biodiversity of British fish, amphibians and mammals, and you will have the opportunity to experience some of the collecting and counting methods used by researchers and conservationists. And finally, you will visit the home of Charles Darwin, the man who transformed the way we think about the natural world. Downhouse gives you the chance to get to know Darwin as a real person, and you will be able to follow in his footsteps by strolling along the sand walk, Darwin's thinking path. Maybe you will be inspired to greatness too. Yolanda here. I'm one of the instructors for the second Harlow course, which is called Applied Biology. We will be visiting many sites to view how you can apply a biology degree to careers in different fields, including agriculture, ecology, and medical biology. In England, agriculture is a sector where there are many applications of biology. We will visit the Brogdale National Fruit Collection, which showcases an impressive collection of fruit trees from around the world. Don't forget to look out for the Nutella tree. We will also visit the Wimple Rare Breed Farm, an impressive estate that maintains livestock that would have been typical in Britain in earlier times. While the agricultural sites may leave you thinking that Britain is one big farm and garden, there are ecological centres as well. We will visit Wildwood, where you will meet examples of native species of British wildlife, including some which may surprise you. 
The Royal Botanical Gardens at Kew are another highlight. These stunning gardens showcase the botanical wonders of the British Empire. If you prefer birds to flowers, then you will enjoy the visit to Minsmere Nature Reserve. For those who prefer their biology in the lab, you will not want to miss the John Innes Center, a multi-million dollar research facility that conducts research aimed at understanding knowledge of plants and microbes. If you think you are interested in a career in medical science, you will enjoy the tour of the Rivers Private Hospital and Cancer Center. We'll also visit the Hunterian Museum, where you will learn about the history of medicine, including early surgical techniques, which are pretty gruesome. Finally, an area that will appeal to just about everyone is our tour of the McMullen Brewery, because after all, beer and biology, well, microbiology, go together like bangers and mash. You will learn how brewmasters use different strains of barley, yeast, and fermentation methods to produce different beers, and maybe even go home with a sample. So you've seen some of the wonderful places we will visit. It's going to be brilliant. No doubt, by now you're so excited and thrilled you can hardly wait to sign up. So don't wait, that is. Space is limited, so sign up early.